Hey guys, welcome to the second part of the Energy Blast tutorial. Uh, in the last video, we just created the Energy Ball itself. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take that Energy Ball and uh, shoot it out of your hands or whatever. So, anyways, uh, I got a clip of me pretending to uh, shoot the Energy Ball. And I got my clip of the Energy Ball that we created in the last video. So, all I have on the timeline at the moment is our clip of me pretending to shoot the ball so now we can work from here so I'm gonna insert a new video track just right click your timeline hit insert video track and then I'm gonna drag this energy ball from my project media and uh, you got to import it before you drag it in you just got to go to file import media find your energy ball hit open and then we can work from here so here's my energy ball I'm gonna drag it on top of our uh, clip of me so I'm gonna get rid of the audio because we don't need it so this is what you should have. You should have your black, uh, or sorry, you should have your energy ball, and then you should have a clip of you underneath. So now what we gotta do is get rid of the black background, cause the only thing you can see is the energy ball. You can't see the clip of me, so we gotta get rid of the black background. This is also known as green screening, but in this case we're using a black screen. So, anyways, what we're gonna do is key out our black background. So what we're gonna do is right-click our energy ball, go to Media Effects highlight Sony chroma key or just highlight it and hit OK. Now we're going to take this eyedropper tool thingy here that says pick color from screen, click that. Then we're going to go to our video preview and just click on anything that's black. And as you can see, uh, it got rid of the black and you can now see me. You can still see some of the black, but uh, it's easy to fix that. We're just going to go over here and adjust these uh, low threshold and just bump that up a bit and add a bit of a blur amount too. And uh, that looks pretty good. Now I can close this, and here we have our uh, energy ball. Now, the rest of the video is just going to be me keyframing uh, the energy ball into my hands, and as my hands move around, we're going to keyframe the energy ball to move around with my hands. So, this is a very tedious process, a very time consuming process. So, for this tutorial, I'm going to scrub through it real quickly. I'm not going to put too much effort into it, so it's going to look pretty lousy, but uh, for you, you're going to put time and effort into it, hopefully. So that looks really good. You're going to do it about every three frames, uh, every three to five frames. I'm going to do it about every ten frames because I just need to really do this quickly. So what we're going to do is go to our event pan slash crop thing and figure out when you uh, want your energy ball to uh, appear. So first we can uh, just go exit out of that for a sec and find the part where you want your energy ball to be created. So if I play this back. Okay, whoops, it's kind of lagging here. All right. So let me just figure out when I want my energy ball to be created. All right, just about here. And I'm just using my arrow keys to get to the exact frame. So I want my energy ball to be like created right there. So what I'm gonna do is split all the clips of the energy ball before it so that the energy ball appears right there. As soon as I want it to appear, it appears. So. Now we gotta go to our pan and crop tool, and we're just gonna move it into my hands, but it's not previewing. Sorry. Alright, let's try this. So I'm just gonna move the uh, ball into my hand. Now I'm just gonna make it a bit smaller because uh, it's gonna grow over time. That's the idea of the concept here. Okay, so it's in my hands. Now what we're gonna do is take our keyframes here and we're just gonna slide it a bit and as you see my hands are kinda going up there and the ball is also uh, growing so actually it's doing a pretty good job I don't need to uh, really move it that much I'm just gonna move it a bit now and you're gonna wanna increase the size of it every now and then and as I said before I'm gonna go through this real quickly but you you're gonna wanna make sure that it looks really good I'm moving it pretty much the only time when it's like absolutely necessary so I'm just gonna scrub through this again maybe move it back a bit alright it's looking pretty good so far even though I'm rushing through it maybe bring you back up here and now increase the size like quite a bit alright it's getting bigger and right here I'm just about to release it still in my hands alright right here is the part where I release it so 
I'm going to move it and it's going to go back with me and it's still in my hands and I'm going to increase the size of it like quite a bit because this is the final part where I throw this beast. Okay, it's in my hands. Go a few more frames. Back it up a bit and totally increase the size a bit more. And now we can release it. Let me just uh, move this so you can see it. Okay. A few more frames. And okay, I released it there. So now we can uh, move the uh, energy ball to where our hands are. Now all we got to do is move a few more frames. And then we can actually remove the ball from our hands and just shoot it out like that. Now it's probably going to lag for some reason. My computer is acting really slow right now. So if we play it back to so what we got. Yeah, it's acting really slow. But it's in my hands. And there we go. It's going to keyframe with it. And boom. And that's basically it. Uh, let me try this with the RAM preview. Alright, this is going to be a bit better. Okay. So, there it is. It's in my hands. And... I did a pretty lousy job, but it looks decent, so... It helps if you rotate the energy ball too a bit, but uh, it looks pretty good for now. And now it's getting a bit bigger. Alright. Yeah, right there I should have did a better job. Okay, and right here. Yeah, that was also a really bad job right there. But that's basically it. It's actually not that bad. Depending on how many uh, energy blasts you're going to do in your video, this can be very annoying and very time consuming, but in the end it's pretty well worth it. Now, I want to just say, uh, you might think this uh, energy blast is pretty crappy, but this is Sony Vegas. You gotta realize, uh, Sony Vegas isn't meant to do this kind of stuff. If you want a really nice Kamehameha, or energy blast, oh, that's what it's called, Kamehameha, I was thinking about that. Um, so if you want to do a really good Kamehameha, you're gonna probably want to look into a program called Adobe After Effects, which is uh, meant specifically for special effects and animations. So, you might want to check that out, but if you're satisfied with what you got in Sony Vegas, then you can try that out. Anyways, thanks for watching my tutorial. For more tutorials like this, check out my channel. I got lots of these. Anyways, rate the video, comment on it, subscribe. Helps out, and I'll thank you for it. And it's greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching, and anyways, uh, take care.